useful that if you reduce the volume, how do you increase the gain? So in the afternoon, my supervisor or advisor, he came to my room and asked me, sir, there was this son giving response or reply to this spot here. And yes, he gave, he, gave, he gave a reply. But I think it is not possible. No, 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 no. He gives a no. There is nothing to do. You blindly say yes, they will see what happens. He was too reluctant. That no, no, we we'll lose our face. I never cared for any rejection or any defeat. It is a part of life. My attitude is always accept the challenge, try your best, and based after that, if you can, it is good. If you cannot, you will have to leave. But before the game, before playing the game, if you leave the ground, then you want the option to play again. It is one big opportunity for me. So I told, no, no, no. You're right. Just respond, yes, we are accepting it. So it's a big challenge, but I took just one. And you can understand that the face was smiling, I solved the problem. <coughs> I created the bucket like that. But I'm not going to tell you the whole technique. This is not too difficult, but very tricky. I sent my our report to them. <coughs> then it was a long process because industry will test it, we tested it. But the more interesting part is that the finally it, it was the product. So it took complete uh, one and a half years time. They accepted it and made the product. Now, after when they invited us, and by that time I left Canada, so in the next two, three years time when I visited next time, so I visited Ottawa and they gave me one gift of the one piece of this, uh, that antenna. Then they told that we gave this project to six universities. Five accepted. Four gave their designs and results, mostly in US and Canada. And the rest is fine that ours was the, the best choice and they accepted it. The commercial application, actually I, I, I learned from that industry experience, the industry always, they don't care if it is one dB good or one dB bad. It is one person less or one person large. They are more careful, more concerned, it is one dollar more or one dollar less. <laughs> My God. So, so what is electrically good, what is electromagnetically good, that may not be good for industry. So industry need is different. So we had to meet their requirement too in terms of dollar. My another experience. I seeing this your face, I'm, I I cannot understand that. Whether it is it is okay good for you? Should yes. I continue? Yes. 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 Okay. I'm just telling you about my experience and taking challenges. <coughs> Those who are students in 1990s, like me or Professor Ramarao, I think no one is that senior or, or old. During our time, one, one uh, Darm was very popular. Do you remember? 
PBG, very fascinating term, photonic band gap structure. To me, a student, always a new term is very catchy. Now, metacircles, AI and ML. So, during our time, it was PBG. Actually, PBG means it is not related to, the, to, to photonic band gap, but the concept came from photonic band gap. It is later on, it was called EVG, electromagnetic band gap structure. You know the structure, it is microstrip structure, microstrip line, and multiple defects, and periodic defects. The purpose was to create one equivalent LC, that is band rejection. That is basic nature of any periodicity or perturbation in one propagation medium. <coughs> anyway, it was very popular in microwave circuits, particularly for filter effect. I noticed this paper particularly, you see this paper was published in 1999. But it came to my attention or my notice in 2003. I still remember 2003. I was curious to know about because my my passion is to see microstrip antenna and again PBG, PBG, so many beautiful things. So what did they do? Then I realized what did they do. You see, that part is the feet. That part is the feet. And when you are feeding the antenna, the fundamental and high harmonics are naturally coupled because when you are using oscillator, oscillator has some nonlinear devices. Suppose it is 10 gigahertz, so you don't think that only 10 gigahertz is coming, the harmonics are also coming. So high harmonics to be stopped. This is natural requirement. So good filter is always required. And they also claim that this is the fundamental, the first one and the high harmonics is stopped. My question was, if it is sufficient, then what is the purpose of these all defects in it? Is? And moreover, I found that natural, natural uh, radiation of such antenna it is totally degraded. It is quite obvious. On the ground plane, you have so many perturbations. So your ground plane current is totally disturbed. So not only the loss of gain, the pattern distortion, many things happen. But that time, the reviewers or the ignorance of antenna people, so it was accepted, but or nobody noticed it. So I picked picked up the problem from there. <coughs> that it is for feed, that's fine. But how can I use this type of defects? for antenna application. Okay, I'm showing all this thing together. This is, I got from my students, from his hand-drawn picture. Actually, the antenna design was like this. I just placed a couple of defects, only two defects. My intention was to disturb the higher order mode or orthogonal mode. Why? It is known to us since 1988. K.F. Lee, Kaiman Lu, and they had some other ten or some some group of people. They've published two papers in electronic letters, very fundamental papers, and they first showed that orthogonal resonant modes are creating the disturbance of cross pole radiation. So if we can tamper the boundary condition, then automatically that mode will be killed. 
But question is, this disturbance or, or perturbation should not affect my desired resonance. So one resonance will be unparted and another resonance will be parted. How do I do this design? So I had to take idea from that paper, Hori and Susumi, and based on some rough calculation, because I, I, I tell you again, there's no simulator was available at that time. So based on that, I first fabricated the antenna. I measured it in my lab, I measured it. You see, the antenna with defect, without defect, they are resonating, they are working fine, but I don't know what kind of radiation they are showing. And to measure very accurate cross pole we need at least 20, sorry, 80 dB dynamic range of the chamber. At least 20, 80 dB. If more, then it is better. It was not with me ready. Within few months time, I got this invitation to Canada and I, a small piece of antenna, I carried with me. Already snowing started that time, you know, it is the northern part of, Can oh no, northern, middle part of Canada. So after October, it is, it is difficult to drive and frequently to here and there, it's very difficult. So I could not drive that time to Ottawa for this measurement. I gave my stuff to this gentleman. I still remember David Lee. And David, after a few days, came with these results. I'm showing this result. That was my workplace. So I used to sit in this room. In North America, there are two beautiful campuses. One is UBC Victoria, Canada, and second one is this one. It's a the full surrounded by Lakes, Lake Ontario, uh, River Cataracti, and St. Lawrence. The beautiful town it is. So now you see these results. The red car first came with this separation, but without any change affecting the main radiation particles. So that is the first concept of using defective ground structure for antenna application, and immediately. I reported that work. So the measurement was done, but all designs, fabrication, everything we did sitting in Kolkata. And immediately after that, we reported another concept that is the defect. Here, defect is not like the cycle. It is a ring. Why? If we have two elements, then one ring is fine. If we have three elements, one ring is fine. If we have five elements, one ring is sufficient. So one ring is giving you support for four or five number of elements together. So first we tested it for what? Mutual coupling or mutual decoupling. Element to element decoupling. Decoupling or coupling of antenna elements or even in our electromagnetic or electrical circuits it's, it's, a, it's a very serious problem, particularly from array point of view. We did not proceed further with some application. Unfortunately, we found Within the next two years' time, one group first proposed that the scan blindness, the radar scan blindness, can be reduced. Up to that, so these two very first or fundamental words and ideas we published. One group published this work, but I personally did not notice that 
people started working on that silently when i realized i received one email from encal national center for atmospheric research boulder it is like our sun atmospheric research center one group they are working on synthetic aperture radar this group contacted me and they first told me that your structure has some novel features and also some some drawbacks what's that that your structure does not take or add any weight any cost any volume so it is very good for space application and at the same time the same element can be used for decoupling that is reduce the coupling improve the radiation properties and also reduce the cross pole but you have tried only with cross pole on the orthogonal plane normally we did that normally we do that whenever we do measurement we measure or cross polarized on its h plane or orthogonal plane but that is not the the end of the scenario it is more prominent more dangerous over its diagonal plane so please try to give some solution for diagonal plane also so again it is this feedback gave me some new light new inputs as well as confidence that well it is working well in 2011 in one edited volume we personally contributed one dedicated book chapter on defective ground structure based antennas and something like that how many years ago it is more than more than 11 na no? 11 12 years ago but we noticed that in 2013 another book 2014 another book they already included the content of dgs based application during the pandemic time i should be plus contacted me and they encourage that you this is the time we are sitting alone so why don't you contribute one 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 complete volume on this antenna so it is it is some kind of requirements we have the feedback so in 2020 and 2021 we completed the manuscript and it is the final i have not yet received the final copy of this book but it is it is already published so the basic information to you that whenever there is some clue or some challenges something hidden that is not being addressed by others or did not nobody nobody addressed it earlier so try to address this problem because that may give you new light new possibilities of any kind of design it is not the antenna it is antenna it is antenna design so with this small thought small tries the new field of investigation started and i know any, any of you or some of you if, if you are working on this antenna printed antenna with defective ground structure or dgs based structure you can consult this book it is containing nine chapters and all chapters are based on the fundamentals and physics that's why the title is the design physics in the in the papers we don't have that type of uh scope of telling our own thought our approach of solving the problem and the inherent physics and how to how to handle that 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 type of problems in any in the do it i have tried and this whole book is uh, the text is my my former students they joined their hand but uh, the original text is 
this is basically my draft. I think I can conclude by this, the last one. <coughs> This is another, another experience. Well, any of you, I don't know, you are working on fabricator cavity resonator antenna or fabricator antenna? <coughs> you know the fabricator cavity? Lambda by two separated in any plate on top of this. It is the principle of blazer, right? Why to increase the gain? when they are separated by lambda by two separation. So they add in phase and they leak and they add the rays. It, 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 by ray optics or by any technique you can find it out. This structure looks like this. But if you carefully see the theories, you will see different theories are there. Somebody is telling it is liquid antenna. Somebody is telling no, it is part partially reflecting. That means a part will be reflected and part will be transmitted. The concept of optics. And in some papers you will see it is a lensing effect. I'm showing you. But what is actual? You will understand if we just carefully see the nature of the structures and their radiations. From literature, already published literature, this is one dielectric plate. And at the bottom, one single resonator. Another group told, no, no, no. It is not dielectric, better we make one, some wooden pipe type of uh, EBG or PBG type of structure. Nowadays we call it meta metasurface. Some groups, they try with multi-layer structure loaded with split ring or they call meta material. Okay? FSS. <coughs> For our own survival, particularly as a researcher, always we try different things and try to find out how does it work. There is a little metal grid, <coughs> but all, you study all these papers, they give same radiation. How is it possible? The student who was helping me as a PhD candidate, you may be knowing Boshi Dutta. He used to come after his college was was a faculty member in college. So at the end of the day, we used to return by either bus or taxi together. <coughs> so I told Goshi, your problem is solved. Hopefully your PhD will be done within, within uh, next two years of time. Try. So what to do? Just place a piece of metallic sheet. Don't put any any structure, any semi-reflecting, semi partially reflecting, any perforation. You don't need anything. If I am right, then one simple piece of metal will work. That means the idea was like that. Forget about any, any kind of structure. So it was experimented like this, one simple piece of metal was given. <coughs> the 
that what? That what? That means all all our notions, the understanding all our notions. The reality is reality. Truth is truth. Everyone is right in producing the result, but the, their theory and their concept is different. <coughs> what happens actually? Okay, let me complete this slide. We develop this new theory, but fifteen to twenty one. So over the time we had to work repeatedly on that. What was the idea behind? <clears throat> One thing came to my mind that on the superstrate, any kind of superstrate you use, it actually produces one modified near field. And that modified near field is actually translated, it is actually Fourier transform in the special domain that you are getting the radiation pattern. So you are creating similar type of near field, that's why you are getting similar type of radiation pattern. So if all the structures produce similar type, so why should I take all the structure? I just take one simple metal. <coughs> then the complete theory is a very complicated theory. Theory is not at all simple. <coughs> Fourier transform part we solved separately, but the extraction of field for that one we used simulator because the theory cannot give you, for particularly the arbitrary structures, theory cannot give you such a beautiful profile of the near field. So in every structure we extracted the near field from the simulated data. There is the, the, the file you can extract it. And based on that, we have studied that. That means, and from, it is not this, the first paper is the basic theory. After that we have shown that how do I change the aperture, synthesis, aperture synthesis. If we change the aperture, then I can synthesize the aperture, electrical aperture. And if I change the electrical aperture, it is in my hand if I want to change its gain increased or decreased or side lobe decreased, side lobe increase. So all depends on the near field distribution. So near field distribution depends on the, the physical aperture or physical structure what you use. So I think my last slide it is. I'm not going to my next next story. There is there, there is few more stories anyway. So any technology is possible if you have idea. <coughs>